Introducing the GoPhoton Direct Blood PCR. With blood as the initial component in the PCR mix, the color is red. Applying the PCR method's high temperature to the mix results in a color shift to brown. With the desktop PCR, however, the brown color blocks the appearance of fluorescence and prevents us from detecting any reaction. Now let's run the same test using the GoPhoton Direct Blood PCR. The liquid color presents initially as red, changing to brown as the PCR process continues. The brown color appears uniform initially, but gradually separates from the transparent portion as the high-low temperature process progresses. Fluorescence is detected directly from moving liquid, enabling us to see PCR movement with the blood sample. Using the GoPhoton Direct Blood PCR, the process is now successfully concluded.